Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. I'm Trudy. And I'm Dre. And together we are Beauty and the Beer. So today we're watching Peaky Blinders. Today we're jumping back to Peaky Blinders for Season 1, Episode 4. Let's get it going. Did our friends give us what we asked for? How much? 200 pounds. Our revolution is international. It grows by the day. Right Jeremiah, Jeremiah, what do you say? Your sister and Freddie got back this morning. I tried following them, but Freddie's so good at getting away. What did they have, Freddie? Oh, shit. I've had a tip off. I need this bet. Race is short, Please. Race. No. Oh, fine. Get rid of him. I said no. Now get out. Oh. This kid. Senses his presence. It's a good day. Where's John? John's in the garrison. Says he wants a meeting about a family matter. It's good, boat. John will be here in ten minutes. All right. Five. Oh, shit. They're gonna get... Ah, oh, why the one who got his ear chopped off? Oh, John, there's only one man. No, there's only one man guarding the house. Truth is, my kids have been running bloody rings around me, running barefoot with the dogs until all hours. Oh, give them ten bob some new shoes. Is that it, John? Tommy, we'd be better to do this without you. So that's why I'm getting married. Does this poor girl know you're going to marry her or are you just going <laughs> to spring it on her all of a sudden? I've already proposed. It's, um, it's uh, Lizzie Stock. <laughs> John, Lizzie Stark's a strong woman and I'm sure she provides a fine service for her customers. I won't hear the word. You know what word that is. Everybody bloody knows. Everybody can go to hell. Whore, that word's whore. Prostitute, how about that one? If anyone calls her a whore again, I will push the barrel of my revolver down their throats and blow the word back down into their hearts. Men and their cops. Wow. John, Lizzie Stark never did a day's work vertical. She's changed. Wow. People change. like, like, oh my we, we God. Brave is going where no man's gone before. And with Lizzie Stark, John, that is really not what you'll be doing. Oh my Welcome God. Back. Yo, Polly's a savage. I need someone. Oh, the kids need someone. Tommy, we've been to Marvel. What? Four cash boxes. I love these. Wire cutters. I mean, why would they leave wire cutters? Nobody move. It's a bomb. Oh, shit. Don't move, bro. When we gave up ground to the Germans. <sighs> we'd leave yarn booby traps, fill up with wires, and we'd leave wire cutters as part of the joke. Holy Jesus. Attached to a wire. Can't move any chairs. Huh. If it was in here, it would have blown by now. It was my name on that bullet that Asmus sent. He set up a trap, all right. 
Oh no. Finn? Finn, stay exactly where you are. Oh no. <laughs> I'm pretending I was you. I want you to climb out exactly the same way you climbed in, okay? <laughs> no, no, Finn! <laughs> Holy Jesus, they would have annihilated that child. That's why you should never pretend to be me. Never, bro. Then you'll get my real consequences. Holy Jesus. Wow. <laughs> These guys are savages, boy. Uh oh, retaliation. Why? Maybe the leaves? Mm -hmm. I got you ten minutes with her. He can eat say thank you. It's easier to see the Pope these days. I hope well, it's obviously not Lizzie Stark. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Cutting us all up. Beata propica fostum rata. In copio. You're all children. Or so enough. Swan benita ichi coho propinere. Radin cachi aliat. Can you ask Santra des? I have ambitions. You want to play a switch? I need your boys. For what? Kimber's not the brains, as the Gadzeo runs the rice. We now get the winner in one of every three rices before the rice even starts. No need for chalkers or rafflers. I'm talking certainties. You come in here boasting you're going to do someone down, and in the same breath ask me to trust you. Hmm. On my mother's side, we are kin. Wow. That's a nice have or been just we need a familia. Wow, wow, wow. Aida. Really? I know what was in the envelope. I looked. Money. And that bloke that we met in London who you said was a Frenchman. How is it that you take all the risks and Stanley Chapman gets the money? It's money for the cause. <sighs> You're blind. This is about you and me and this. This. Her or him. You're a dreamer, Freddy. Who are you loyal to, Freddy? I said, who are you loyal to? Mission. Mm -hmm. Unknown. She's like Gemma from Sons of Anarchy. Mm. Did you have something to do with this? I asked an acquaintance for an address. Whose address is it? Tommy, I'd like to suggest a strategy. Let's hear it. Meeting with the copper. Yep. They're my um, said. You have an address for me? Okay. I know, Miss Tipoff. Oh, the shit. Of Stanley Chapman. Oh, oh, the leader. He promised me Freddie Thorne. This is instead of Freddie Thorne. He's currently holding 200 pounds in cash. Given Freddy to the Communist Party him. by the Russian government. That's right. Chapman has snow in his boots. Wow. All you need is a shovel. Ooh. He talks. I want your word that you'll let Freddie Thorne and my sister leave the city. Very well. I'm afraid that Mr. Churchill has become an impatient. And I fear that if you don't get back those stolen weapons soon, I will be replaced. If I were to be fired, then it were your fault. 
I would do things that would shame the devil. Oh my god. Uh oh. I would see to it that you and your scum brothers have your head stoved in with mallets and spades. That baby insider would be of no consequence to me. Oh my to be spared god. Would be your little brother Finn and dumped in that part of the adult prison where men have the most appetite for boys like him. Oh my Oh, that would God. be a dark day indeed, Mr. Shelby. Hey, pretty Chapman. Oh, the address. Found. Mr. Chapman, you're fucked. <laughs> I was gonna give him the, the arrest speech. Right? You know? Exactly. And just smoking, yeah. smoking. Still refuses to say where it came from. I'm sure with a little persuasion, including the whereabouts of Freddie Thorne. Oh, wow. Real chasing after him. Your face is a picture. I thought you'd done a deal. I was like, what you thought? My word to who? A to criminal. A blinder. My. Go and interrogate Mr. Chapman until he tells us where we can find Freddie Thorne. Huh. What was the name? May, somebody, May Thorne. Today's her birthday. I know you never miss it. And I'm lucky you're not a copper. What do you want? They've lifted Stanley Chapman. How do you know? Police don't spill that information? I know because it was me and Tommy who took them off. Wow. We did a deal. We returned for safe passage for you and Ada. He's given them Stanley and the money. Money? What wow. money? Yeah, it was yeah. Ada's idea. Wow! I told you, keeping her in. Wow! Ada, bro. I want to be here when you found out. Wow. Take over. You play your tune. You expect the whole world to dance. You don't to have it. time for this, Freddy. You did a deal for me. You did flatter yourself for Ada. If he doesn't, Chapman will give you up. You'll still have to leave town. Same result. Exactly. Mm -hmm. But this one is by choice. So leave. Except there's one thing that you got wrong. Stanley won't be able to give up my address because he doesn't know it. That's how it works. And they'll keep beating him and beating him for information he doesn't have. So all you've done is sign the death warrant of a good man. Good man? So you won't leave? No, I won't fucking leave. Oh! You lay a hand on our aid and I'll put you in a wooden box myself. Yeah. He's gonna be back for this. Oh man, he's waiting for her to wake up. One thing when you both were fighting against the power of the Shelby's, now she's he using her Shelby on. power right. to, to mold her situation. He had some kind of seizure. Oof. Did he give you an address? What's the matter with you? He fell down some stairs. This is not bloody Belfast. Not yet, but if men like him get their way, it soon will be. So oh my gosh. Wow. Use Grayson. If he has any awkward oh. questions, ask about the welfare of his mistress in Salt Lake. Oh! That'll shut him up. You have dirt on everybody, eh? Even the coroner. Bloody animals. The Shelby's really are doing an excellent job for us. We haven't lost a single penny to raffles or chalkers in eight race meetings. Kimber, Mr. Roberts, go and have a look around. Oof, that's a fancy car boy. We heard that the ladies turned you over. Oh, you should listen to gossip, Mr. Kimber. This way. Wow, oh, they got everything reestablished fucking quick. This is my team. 
They will take up their pitch at your convenience, Mr. Kimber. John is the book, Scudbow is the bagman, and of course, they bring around protection. Heard the leaves turned you over. Where do you hear that from? Gentlemen <clears throat> and lady, the Shelby family has its first legal racetrack pitch. Wow. I did it, bro. <laughs> they are making legal money now, bro. Ultra dangerous. Oh my goodness. Oh my. Cigarettes have a strange smell, Arthur. They smell like rotting water, and look, rats have got into some of them. You know, um, you should make um, a start with this place. Do it properly. These cigarettes are not fit to sell. What's wrong with a dry warehouse? Tommy's orders. What orders? Always keep contraband near petrol bag moorings. Wow. Precise man, your brother. Is my head in up, Thank you. It is now. Bro, gave her the whole game, dog. Oh, yeah. Three. This fish, baby. All their stashes. Oh, the duh. How much is the bullet, sir? Just more cigarettes and whiskey. Arthur tells me you've been asking questions mm. about how we run our business and how we get our booze. Why here? You're a good Catholic girl, aren't you? <laughs> well, then you know it's here people come to confess. Ooh. See you. Let's hear what you gotta say, girl. Confess. I need someone. Kimber has an advisor by the name of Roberts. He talks well. Now, but you have something I need. Class. Hmm. I need someone who looks right at the big meetings. Epsom, Ascot. But you're a liar. No Catholic girl would enter a church and forget to make the sign of the cross. Ooh. And you asking a bunch of questions about my business. Do you care? No. All up in my business, my like business. You pull a pint like someone who's thinking about it. My good fortune. And perhaps mine. I need on thick now. Most of what I do is illegal. Very important detail about my reasons for employing you. Oh, you work for the copper. My appetite for, appetite. for the work has only increased. What kind of work you're talking about? Mm -hmm. The thing is, you're gonna, I don't know if she's scared find or out, happy. You're gonna find out that they're both rated, but Archer's gonna be too ashamed of him telling her to admit it. So they won't know why. You like kids? Yeah. Good. Because John's got four of them. Lizzie Stark. Yep. It's all right. So I'm not going to try and talk you out of it. This guy don't play, bro. This guy don't play. She got her hello fresh. <laughs> from France, I've come to you on any occasion. Tommy, you didn't tell him. No, I didn't Ooh. tell him. Wow. Why didn't you tell him? Because you've been serving his brother for the past two years. That's insane. That's wild. Because the past is the past. Hmm. I don't want to lose him. He's a good man. Change is good. These are new times, I'm told. Serving his brother for the past two years. One last oh. time. No. 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 He's testing you. Exactly, he's testing you. He's testing you. 
Nah, come on, bro. Come on. Where should we go? Ah! Oh, shit. No, you're supposed to say no. You're supposed to show me. Ah, oh, you, you failed. Changed. I love him, Tommy, really. Bro, you were just about to fuck me, bro. What are you talking about? Oh, you but money failed. swings your heart. You failed. John will make his own decision. I've made my fucks. Ooh. He's gonna tell him. My brother is ten times the man you are. Even after he told you the money you could keep, he didn't have to do it. You were still willing to do it, girl. Come on, man. That's oh, so sad. No doubt. Oh my gosh, you guys gotta meet somewhere no, else. Ex ex babe, you see it already. The you girl see goes it to the already. museum every fucking week. <laughs> The arts ain't changing. All we found was stolen tobacco and whiskey. Would you left in place? Of course. It would never endanger you. My daughter. <laughs> he wants me to be his bookkeeper and secretary. And sex secretary. Cultural <laughs> gangster with a secretary. Yes, quite breathtaking. Hmm. Grace has got her own thoughts. Yeah. He's obviously fallen quite heavily for you. Glad to be pleased. A man who cuts off ears and cuts out tongues. I know what he is, sir. He wants to use your tongue. For something you else. Do the undercover work, Grace, is to remember what you are. Tommy, I need a favor. I want to borrow the car. I want to take Lizzie for a ride in the country with the kids. Uh, you might have to. The license. Yesterday, in the front seat of that car, I offered Lizzie some money. And John, she said yes. Bro, don't bury her in the woods, bro. Bro, this guy might, I might end her, bro. Okay, no, it's Danny who has the head sickness. That's right. I was like, is this guy? Is this the one that snaps? No, it's no, not. no, they sent him. I take him. I'm Irish. I can make a million toasts. May you be in heaven a full half hour before the devil knows you're dead. Contracts of employment. <clears throat> Bookkeeper, Shelby Brothers Limited. Don't like that word, limited. <laughs> respectable, you have. I had the phone put in. It's in the back. Wire tap. Wire tap. Oh, I think someone else has got a phone. We could call him. <laughs> and hard. since we're celebrating, save us for a special occasion. Right, your first job for the company. I want you to get that to my sister. I don't see her. I'm told she goes to a bathhouse. Ah, oh, no, now they know where Freddy and Ada are, babe. Oh, she goes in disguise, so I need to get someone inside. Am I delivering bait for a trap? If you check that contract. I think you'll find it doesn't say anything about asking questions. The contract doesn't say anything about ah, bro. This guy speaks so ruthlessly. Somebody's there. Maybe Freddy. Oh, it's John. What the hell, John? I couldn't get it lit. Couldn't even do that. Which one to be smoking that for? Same reason as you. Pain in the head. Ugh. Mm. Lizzie used to deal with that. <laughs> Andre. She said your brother Tommy is a dirty liar. But then I spoke to her sister and her cousin. Or they they told me. Drinks. To keep the wolf on the door, she still sees a couple of regulars. Ah. Uh. Must think I'm an idiot. So she was fucking guys uh, even uh, when even, she well, after yeah. she keeps a few, a regulars, few regulars, bro. First Shelby in history. Anybody calls her a whore. Anybody calls her a prostitute. A they would have had a communist and a whore in the Shelby family. <laughs> finish the wall. How'd you get boys? Ready, boys? John, ready? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Have a drink. 
This wedding? What's going on? Smile, John. It's a wedding. Who's bloody wedding? Now, if we told you, you wouldn't have come. Oh, fuck! John, boy! John, 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 what? John! You have, you have no bloody right, Tommy. Listen to me. Listen to me. A girl who needs a husband, I've already put it so if you back out now, there's gonna be one fucking mighty war breaking out here. Oh nah, you can't put that on him like that like though. Fucking tea party. Now it's up to you, John. War. Peace. Family. You can't put that on John after he just went through what he went through with. Let her at least be attractive. You should see the size of her daddy. A what? And that's giving you a car. He'll do. Wow, that's Where's crazy. Or is that Ada? There she is. Better be under fifty. Oh, okay. Which is sanctioned and honored by the president. Oh, she doesn't look so bad. Of these two families around us. She's cute. Like, yeah. John Michael Shelby. You want my invitation? Mm -hmm. Who have? Grace said there's a truth. Family day. Your husband couldn't make it. And when he does, he calls me a fucking Shelby, even though I'm a thorn now. Thorn in my side, that's for sure. Tommy. For the two families become the one family. Thought he did shit back then. I now pronounce you man and wife. Jesus Christ. Plot twist, we find out she's a virgin. Imagine! <laughs> <laughs> Bro, <laughs> that's a little. Where's Polly? You should tell Ada to slow down. Huh. Think she listen to me? Tried stopping her, but she's been drinking. Watch the two she's mastermind been queens. Come and look, Esme. Come and look at the family you've joined. Come and look at the man who runs it. Chooses his brother's wives for them. He hunts his own sister down like a rat. And he tries to kill his own brother in law. Holy shit. Water. Oh, right, shit. Now, Ida. Bloody hell, you go pick your choice. <laughs> <laughs> nice car, John. Now she run. Yeah, beautiful. Really smooth. Your sister's in there giving birth. You're talking about the bloody car. <laughs> what can do now, Paul? Except go get drunk. All right, come on. This one man should be here. Good right, Paul. Her husband. Here. Oh! Inside that chest. The truth lasts till sunrise. On my oath. Tell Freddy it's safe. Take a bath and go all the way down. Mm. Yeah, I think you're right. What do you mean? Come on, Aiden. Oh, she's got. Oh, she's got. Now, you sit down. You don't want to be among women when there's a baby coming. Have another. So, you think her husband will take the same advice and stay away? Oh, yeah. my God. Pretty old baby. Oh! Oh, great. Here she goes. Paddletail. <laughs> I think it's that lovely barmaid. Oh, she's there making a call, bro. For certain. And he's in. Freddy's running to the running right to his. Right door. into the cops, bro. At the right place. It's oh wow, he survived! Thank God. Oof. Thought it was gonna be something crazy. Babe, is Tommy? He's at the wrong place. He's at the wrong. Place. Oh, okay. Oof. Oof. Coppers are coming, bro. Oh my god. Oh. Freddy. Oh my gosh.
I wonder if Tommy's gonna put two and two together. It's a boy. Come on, Tommy. You said the, the truth. The police came and took his father away. Don't you dare look at me like that! You liar! Look at the barmaid. This woman. Diabolical, diabolical. Ugh, it doesn't matter of what happens first, whether Tommy figures it out first or whether that's it. Heavy is the head, heavy is the head that wears the crown. So even even if he doesn't make a move that diabolical, because of his nature, because of the position he occupies, because of his power, it's all get credited to you. It's that's like it. LeBron. If they win, you get all the credit. If they lose, you get all the credit. If you don't play and they lose, you get all you get I mean, if they lose, they you get all the blame. If he doesn't if he plays good, he gets all the credit. If he doesn't play good, he gets all the blame. Like it's it doesn't matter about the 12 other guys on the team. It doesn't matter about Finn, it doesn't matter about Arthur, it doesn't matter about Johnny, it doesn't matter about Danny, it doesn't matter about none of them. If if it if it went down in this town and it's it had Tommy's to fault. It's, it's this Mr. Shelby. It's Mr. Oh, Shelby. Oh my goodness. He's too smart. That like <sighs> and the brothers are too fucking out. stupid. Like, yeah. and the thing is, what's so crazy is like the the juxtapose. Like he literally said to her, he's like, I didn't see anything about his contract about asking questions. So shut the fuck up and do what I tell you. You know what I'm saying? Like, and then these guys, every time they not the thing is, what's worse is I know they're drunk all day, but when he was talking to her, when he was doing the numbers for the books, mm. he wasn't inebriated. He wasn't no. oh, like slop slurring his words, bro. But he was just letting shit fly, bro. You're like, yeah. you're so he proud to tell everybody about your business, bro. That's why Tommy's the only guy that can run it, bro. Like, seriously. And the thing is, same thing with when um, he came to meet Arthur in the church that time. And he's like, he's like, they beat me up and they told me about some gun. What fucking bloody guns, Tommy? And he's like, well, if you would have known about them, they would have had them already. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can't even tell you guys about this. Like, half of the shit, half of the business we do, I can't even tell you guys about until you guys see the result. Tommy, will you start a fucking war with the bloody leaves? Four episodes later, you guys are You're united forever. The leaves, like, bro, bro like, on. unbelievable. This guy's a mastermind. And, and the thing is, the coppers ugh. have the law on their side, so they can do whatever it was with brute force, kill anybody, wreck anything, and they had, there's no repercussions. You know what I'm saying? There was no testing Lizzie. He just wanted to catch her in a lie so that he, Johnny had to marry the freaking Romanian girl. Wow. I didn't even think about that. Yeah. That's right. Because the thing is, let's say Lizzie didn't do it. Would he still have okayed the marriage? Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Oh, my gosh. He's setting it up from the jump. That, oh, my God. I did. Wow. I didn't even realize that. Yeah. Ugh. What an episode that was. He had to make sure that he didn't get married so that there was somebody available to give away to the lease. Yeah, this guy is unbelievable. And just like that, the family got crazier. And he didn't like, and what's interesting about him is because of his demeanor, he didn't even flinch when Polly accused him of doing something no. he didn't do. He was he just shocked, took it all in. Yeah. It's true. It's like, don't look at me like that. He's like, he took it all in and he's like, okay, so what's what's the next move? Exactly. You know what I'm saying? I had I felt like he was, was gonna look at what's her face in the end. But, but that was, like that shot was so great. The one yeah. they had where you see her in the dark with her one eye out, like, yeah, I'm the one keeping all the deep dark secrets, but I'm giving them to the wrong fucking guys, bro. Oh my goodness. Another great episode of Peaky Blinders and we can't wait to get on to the next one. Thank y'all for joining us for the latest episode of Peaky Blinders. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and subscribe to like the video. Let us know what you thought about the latest episode down in our comments and be sure to go over to our Patreon to check out our full length uncut reaction or to stop by simply to support our channel. And I'm Dre for Beauty and the Bears. We're signing off until the next one.